Okay, so what's going on people? Midnight Club Gamer here, and this is going to be my tutorial on how to make a diamond in Cinema 4D. Um, I got the skills to do this off Original 3 Media's tutorial on Hazard Cinema's channel, week 16. Uh, they did a good job on explaining how to make the diamond, so uh, hopefully I can tell some other people to make a diamond now. So, uh, we do not want a square. Where did my mouth go? Oh, it's right here. going to delete that square. I'm going to delete that material. So I'm going to start off with a fresh page. Um, so what you want to start off with is go to your shapes, get a cylinder, uh, change the radius to 150, put the height segments to 4, and the rotation segments at 8. You should have something like looks like that. Uh, now you go up to your right, click on these two little orange dots, press delete, and now what you want to do is click on the cylinder, and um, just press C to make it editable. That should be editable now. No. No, click on the cylinder and press C. What the heck did I just do? Okay. Yeah, click on the cylinder and press C. Why is it not? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, press C. Okay, I got it selected, I guess. Oh, yeah, I got it selected. Okay, it's all good. Sorry. Yep, just press C when you have the cylinder selected. Just go like this. So now you can edit your uh, cylinder. Um, so what you want to do is click on the Edge Select tool, which is on the left. And you want to go to Selection. And you want to click on Loop Selection. And hold down Shift while you're doing this. And select these two lines right here that are highlighted orange that I just selected. What you want to do is those, right click it, and go down to, actually it's kind of in the middle, edge cut. Click that and just press new transform. Now uh, you, you'll think nothing happened, but if you click on your point tool, it actually made two, and it did not make two points. New transform. There we go, two points right in the middle. And uh, so we're going to leave those for later. Wow, somebody's calling me. Ignore. Um, so what you want to do nigga, now is select your face selection tool, go up to selection, loop selection again, and you want to hold down shift and select these two ones here that I just highlighted in orange. You want to right click it and go down and press triangulate. Now, once that should happen, you should click on this middle one right here that's orange now right click it and press remove end gons and I should have a line that connects both the triangles so now what you want to do is click on your cylinder you want to you want to uh, deselect everything, click on your cylinder and you want to optimize and press ok and uh, that should link everything together so everything pulls them together you'll see in a second so uh, now you want to keep your face selection on and make sure your loop selection's on and select the top of your um, top of your diamond and you want to go to your scale tool and just click the outside of the screen somewhere over here where the object's not because if you click these it'll, it won't do it right so just click the outside of the screen and uh, move it in like this so it looks like a diamond and select your move tool and move it down a little bit like that so now you got your diamond top thing going on there and now what you want to do is select your edge tool again and these two lines should already be selected if they're not just manually select them and select your scale tool and you do not want to scale it in like that you want to squish them together like this probably around there you want to take your move tool and actually move them up so they squish up like this kind of like like that and now what we're going to do is we are going when when that when that is selected like that just leave it like that go to your scale tool again and scale it out like this so now you got another diamond top shape thing going on there and that's all you need to do for that so now you have your diamond top going on uh, now you need to do the bottom so just go under it to pivot around hold down alt that's pretty simple actually and uh, now you want to select your point tool 
and you might want to go just click on your point here click F4 whoa dude why did that zoom in oh yeah my screen recorder zooms in want to piss off okay don't press F4 well actually press F4 on your screen it'll make a it'll make a new screen but obviously I can't do that so uh, I'll do this and it's still not looking like a diamond well it does look like a diamond but I want to make it more better go to edge select selection loop selection click on this line right here that's orange right now and you want to move it in like that so it looks like a diamond there you go looks like a diamond and uh, you can deselect that now and now you got your basic diamond um, one thing you want to do is keep your edge select on and hold down shift while you're doing this select every single line that you see I'm selecting right now right here do that and all you want to do for that is just right click it and press melt and it should melt it like that now you got a diamond going on there um, now you got your basic shape going on uh, you don't have to do very much after that and I needed the material so for the material I'm gonna click uh, just double click down on this bar down here for your material that you bring up this one uncheck color go to diffusion check the fusion and put the put the brightness on the fusion to 80 percent and uh, check effect reflection actually no one check that and then uh, leave your lumens the same uh, transparency check transparency put the transparency uh, put the refraction at 2.4 and make sure frenzel is checked uh, put the check now what you want to do is go to texture go to frenzel and it'll make it black you don't want that so click on your fade and put the black to uh, an off white so it kind of looks like that so now you have all that done you want to go to reflection check it and just leave the reflection as is now you want to go to environment check environment and put another frenzel on the environment but you don't have to change anything just leave it as it is and uh, you should have a uh, basic diamond output just render it um, it does look like a diamond but what you want to do go up to your render settings so this bar right here where my mouse is right now click on it and this window should open up now uh, your window might be look different than this but go down to options and over in the bold letters where it says ray depth change that to 75 and put the reflection depth to 25 now this is the only way your diamond is going to look like a diamond now it's going to take a longer time to render but it gives you a much better uh, a much better output so if you render this now you can see the uh, yeah you can see the diamond now that looks like a diamond um, if you want to make it brighter, uh, if I find some people have problems with having being brighter, uh, you can go into environment and make sure exclusive is exclusive should be unchecked or checked. Uh, make sure exclusive is unchecked. It, it should make your diamond look brighter. So it looks like a diamond now. If you didn't know where exclusive was, it's an environment and the exclusive buttons right here. Make sure it's unchecked. So now you got your diamond. That looks like a pretty sick diamond. Um, if the exclu I know for some people the exclusive button doesn't work. If that doesn't work, go to luminance. Just check it and put your brightness to like 50%. And uh, if you look now, you got your diamond. It's pretty bright. But uh, I don't have that problem. So uncheck it. So that is a tutorial on how to make a diamond in Cinema 4D. Um, somebody's, somebody's calling me again. But um, yeah, that's how you make a diamond. Hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. If you want me to uh, make a tutorial on how to put it into After Effects and uh, put the text and stuff like that, put a comment below on this tutorial. If you want the extended tutorial on this, how to make a uh, diamond project video, stuff like that, with Sony Vegas After Effects. So. Uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, props to uh, 
original three media for uh, giving me these skills to make a diamond. And uh, hopefully I gave you guys some skills to make a diamond as well. Um, if you do make a diamond and uh, you render it as a video or whatever, um, video response, the uh, video here, I'll accept it. So uh, I want to see if you guys can make a diamond. Um, you can also make different, you don't have to make your diamond um, white. You can do a freaking, you can do a red diamond and render it. Now you got a red diamond going on. What's up, son? Red diamond. You can do a freaking green diamond. Obviously doesn't look as realistic, but uh, yeah. So that's how I make a diamond. Uh, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> if you want more tutorials like this, I can definitely do more tutorials. But uh, that'll be it for me right now. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Midnight Club Gamer, and uh, peace out. See you guys later. Yeah, I'm done.